Okay, well here's another kind of interesting little pulse motor. It's electronic. Um, similar to the Bedini style of pulse motor, only uh, a little bit different. It's got uh, the rotor spinning right now very, very fast. Here's a radio so you can hear it. It's running on a couple of AA batteries. That's a super capacitor uh, just to have it in there. Um, I, sometimes I show that running on just the capacitor, but it's just for show, really. It's really running on the energy in those two batteries. But this is a, uh, an interesting setup here for the coils. Uh, there's a um, trigger coil here that tells the little uh, transistor to turn on. And this is the drive coil. And when I set this up, I was trying to set it up on that uh, stick there. And it wouldn't work until I put this ferrite rod in it. And when I put the ferrite rod in it, then it worked really, really good. And you notice that neon is on uh, very bright. And this is the circuit right here. It's a um, north outfacing a monopole motor with a trigger coil here, the drive coil behind it with the ferrite rod in the middle. It's got no parts except the transistor and this uh, diode, this 1 in 4148 diode. I'm using a 2 in 3904, but almost all the transistors, the NPNs that I had worked on this, I'm just running it on 3 volts. For some reason, it only likes 3 volts. It'll run on 1.5, but uh, it likes 3 volts. I'm um, just calling this a simple electronic pulse motor with high voltage output because of what's happening here with the flyback and it lights this neon um, quite nicely. And it'll also light up this uh, LED bulb here. It's a low watt uh, LED bulb. Uh, it's 110 volt, it's not a 12 volt. And it lights that up quite nicely. Enough to read by. If this was dark, uh, this would look better, but anyway, this um, this was rather interesting, uh, the way this set up here, and this was the only way I could get this to work with those little bobbin uh, coils. Um, I've tried this before where you wind up the wires together on a bobbin, and the uh, monopole uh, motor doesn't work well with just the bobbin. Unless I guess you, I suppose if you use finer wi uh, wire it would work, but uh, anyway, this was the other part I just want to show. Is there's the radio so you can hear it running. And there goes the battery. Now this is just running on uh, just the capacitor. But watch this. Now it's running in solid state. You can hear it on the radio. I think this is actually a uh, looped scenario here because what's happening with this diode is it's sending the flyback here but this neon when it hits 60 volts it conducts across there you notice there's only one of the conductors that's lit up the other one's not so it's it's not AC it's a uh, a pulse DC going back into the drive capacitor and of course it'll still light this up too I thought that was pretty interesting. It's a little uh, solid state uh, flyback charger kind of thing. And uh, just something I had fun doing. Uh, this rotor uh, was real finicky, it turned out. I'm, I'm using uh, a little bushing inside there. And um, this top part is plastic. And that thing goes so fast that the needle drills a hole right through the top of the plastic. Uh, might switch to a glass bead or metal or something for that needle to sit on, but uh, it works. It's just I got to keep replacing that plastic piece. That's the end of a big pin. At the other end of a big pin is what that is. That's the gear out of one of those uh, dynamo lights and then uh, neodymium magnets. I got them at Harbor Freight, and that's just the lid off of a jar. Anyway, that's the latest little pulse motor that I've uh, built. Thanks for watching.